Welcome to another video of Riz Trading Channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the most effective pullback trading strategy. But before starting the video, I want you to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to learn the best trading strategies, then please do subscribe to the channel. Now, without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Pullback trading is the method in which we place our trades along with the trend. If the market is in uptrend, then we will place buy whenever the market touches the support level. And if there is the downtrend, then we will only place sell trades whenever the market touches the resistance level. There are many pullback trading strategies, but today I will teach you the simplest one. Now let's talk about the strategy. You can apply this strategy on every currency pair. We will use a 1 hour time frame for this strategy. We will use a Fibonacci retracement indicator because it helps us to identify the perfect price action levels. Now first of all you need to identify the direction of a trend. And you can do this by simply using a 4 hour time frame and a trend line. It will give you an idea about the direction of the trend. And you can validate it further by using our trend trading strategy. Please visit the channel for learning that method. Buy signal. Keep in mind that you can only place buy trades when the market is in uptrend. Now draw the Fibonacci from swing low to swing high and wait for the price to touch the 50 or 61.8% line. And place your buy trade anywhere between these two levels. Take profit for buy. Place your take profit above the previous swing high. Stop loss for buy. Place your stop loss below the swing low. Sell signal. Keep in mind that you can only place sell trade when the market is in downtrend. Now draw the Fibonacci from swing high to recent swing low and wait for the price to touch the 50 or 61.8% line and place your sell trade anywhere between these two levels. Take profit for sell. Place your take profit below the previous swing low. Stop loss for sell. Place your stop loss above the swing high. Now let's talk about some pros and cons of this. And let's start with the pros. Number 1. There is a good risk to reward ratio in this method. Number 2. If you have identified the trend, on its early stages then you can end up making huge profits from a single trend because you just need to repeat the same process again and again. Number 3. You don't need to wait longer for a trading signal in a trending market. Now the cons of pullbacks. Number 1. You always need to enter the market in early stages of its trend. Otherwise, you will end up losing your trade. Number 2. You cannot trade in a non-trending market. But if you will follow each step carefully, then the chances of loss are minimal. So this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you want to stay updated with the amazing trading content, then please subscribe and like this video. So till the next time, take care.